bring it to a close. Um, there's one idea that um, a lot of people, if you don't get this idea, you're never going to understand what Jesus said. First of all, we don't know what words mean anymore. As an example, what's awful mean? What is awful? To be filled with awe. To be filled with awe. Is that what people use it as? No. What about terrific? That's terrific. When Perry Como said the traffic is terrific and home for the holidays, I don't think it said that he meant that he loved the traffic. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What's gay mean? Not anymore. And let me hit a subject there while I'm there, because nobody seems to want to talk about it. If you have a judgment about another human being, and you've got to rub with it, and you've got to talk about what's wrong about them, do you know why you have such a strong rub with it? Something within you. Because it's you. The, the ones that are speaking the loudest about homosexuality are homosexual. The reason I can tell you that is because that's the only way that the system works. That's what science says. It's what quantum science says. It's everything that Yeshua said. That in which you judge another, you are guilty of practicing. And then he called them a what? Hypocrite. Mm -hmm. That word hypocrite is the word ape in Aramaic, which means mask, or veil, or ego, or Eckhart Tolle would call it the pain body. Mm -hmm. He was saying, that's not your true self judging them, it's your mask. Mm -hmm. So the louder and the bigger of a deal it is to you, it's not just because of your programming, it's because you're judging yourself and you don't know how to feel what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. To believe that something physical... To think that, let put it this way, that two human beings together, in a, I live in Asheville, North Carolina. People shave their head and drill spikes into their skull. I mean, you can be whoever the heck you want to be there. St rock stars and celebrities wander the streets and the, everybody leaves them alone because it's so freaking, Cecilia's been, Cecilia's been there, Mikey's been there. It's just, it's wild. But to believe that the physical actions of a human being dictate a spiritual process of being. That's actually what the root of all evil meant. The root of all evil was what? They say the love of money. That word money in Aramaic is kespa. What kespa means is, in language, it means the illusion of a rate of, ex the, the belief in the illusion of a rate of exchange, which means that I can somehow give you something that once I give it to you, now you feel like you're richer or somehow more than you were before I gave it to you, or that somehow I can take something from you that now you feel like you've lost something. And it's not just money, it could be self-worth, it could be relationship, it could be all kinds of things. Here's the thing, every single couple that I know, whether they're gay, lesbian, transgendered, confused, don't know who they are, when I look at the relationships, it's usually pretty obvious to me that one's masculine and one's feminine. If I look at who has an innie and who has an outie, I'm actually committing the root of all evil, and I'm committing a blasphemy. Because I'm looking at what's physical, thinking that's what's physical causes the spirit. Mm -hmm. Which is funny, because Yeshua said in John 3 uh, to Nicodemus, he said, that which is born of the spirit is a wonder. Actually, he said this in the Gospel of Thomas. That which is born of, the f or that which is born of spirit to become uh, the physical is a wonder. That which is born of the physical to become spirit is a wonder of wonders, which is his way of saying it doesn't work that way. The spiritual is what's real. Now look, if you're in hatred and judgment and criticism and with someone whatsoever, all it tells me is that you're not, number one, living the teachings of Jesus, and number two, you don't know who you are. That's all it tells me. People need to... I, I, my friend Bob told me that I should make a t-shirt with a big pink elephant in the middle that says, let's talk about it, because I'm the guy that talks about the pink elephants in the room, but... Um, I don't know why I'm talking about that exactly today, but uh, it's something that needs to come out. You can imagine, you know, people that are afraid in Arizona that, you know, could have possibly not been able to be served, and people can't say this is the late 50s and the 60s because of who they are. It's not a choice. It's who they are. Can you imagine that? That we're still that far back and people saying it's in the name of Jesus? Now, I've got a point to end with on that. I have one point that I want to get across to you, though, to, to pull this all together, which is this. Um, and this is the root of everything that Yeshua talked about. And if you don't understand this, you're not going to understand anything about what he really said. 
the word for God in Aramaic is Allah. Okay? Allah. Allah translated directly into English means absolute only being. The word God that Jesus used, Allah, Abba, Abi, Abwun, Elohim, Elohim not as much, which is Hebrew, that's actually a dualistic term. Allah means that God is the only thing that exists. In other words, it's not God plus people plus earth, earth plus animals plus universes and cosmos, but it's all God. Period. It's just God. That's it. It's a course in miracles as well. Shh. <laughs> it's one of those evil books. If I hadn't been sp spent two years studying A Course in Miracles when the Aramaic dropped in my lap, I don't think I would have understood the Aramaic. Not really. It was actually the, be the base of the course that allowed me to understand that. Now, Moses in Exodus was talking to this bush, and he was saying to the bush, this is going to push some buttons. Good, let's push. <laughs> like I said, I am from New Jersey. <laughs> that ain't my button. I say that with absolute love. Um, now, uh, <laughs> a lot of like acknowledging smirks. He was asking this bush, he's talking to this bush, which is God, right? And he says, essentially, what's your name? Who shall I say sent me? And what did he hear back? He heard I am, basically. Eya ashar eya in Hebrew. Eya ashar eya. Like Charlton Heston or something. <laughs> so he asked for the name of God. What's the name of God? He asked for the name of God. What was the name of God? Allah. He got, Allah. I am. <laughs> it's simple, isn't it? Who's God? I am. There's a little bit of a shake in the room there. <laughs> what do you put after the words I am in your life? That. I, am. I am sick. I am. I'm pissed off. I'm sorry, but if I put I am and that first word there that started with the P, I think I'd be careful, you know, putting that word somewhere after the word of God, the name of God. I am is not only... In English, speaking the name of God, it's also the ultimate act of creation. Because you're not saying, I want to be. You're not saying, I'm going to be. You're saying, I am. Does anybody know what the word manifest means? Bring forth is what we think it means because of the publishing industry over the last couple of decades. It doesn't mean that. Manifest is a Latin word. Anybody study Latin? Manifestus? It means as obvious as the hand. Manifest means obvious. If you're trying to manifest, you're acknowledging that you don't believe that you can manifest. You are manifesting all the time, but you only manifest that which is obvious to you, regardless of what your words are saying. So if you're telling someone comes up to you and they say, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm good. And someone says that, what are you feeling in your gut? And you know you just lied to them, I'm not feeling so good. Mm. Now, if you say, I am lousy, that's an act of creation. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to say, I am lousy. So what do you actually do with that? This is one thing that I want you to remember, and it's the one thing I want to leave with you. Drop your mask. Let go of who you think you are and let the one birth through you. And you'll know in that moment what it is you need to say, think, or do. Stop trying to run the show. You can't run the show because there's only one and there's no show. There's only God. When you get that, and I don't mean understand it in your brain, I'm saying when you can feel that in your heart and you live it, when that becomes obvious and manifest, you're going to find out what a miracle really is. Can you say that again? I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> it's on the video. I'm being honest. That was then, this is now. It's on the video. You can get it on YouTube. You got it. I saw it this morning. 
before I said a word, before I even stood up. Stop trying to feed your head. Start trying to feed others with your heart. Because your heart is the heart of God. And what's obvious to you is the world that you create. So if you, what's obvious to you is that God hates fags, and what's obvious to you is that people with darker skin shouldn't be allowed at the table, or what's obvious to you is that those people, you know, over there in the other room in the other building, that there's somehow something wrong with them, that's the world that you're going to live in and that's the world you're going to create. And what I will say in response to that is step to the side because we've had enough. Mm -hmm. And I will say plug into this center right here because in terms of creation, nobody understood what Yeshua said about creation better than Ernest Holmes, whose teachings this center is founded on. Nobody understood those creative aspects, and that's what the gathering this afternoon is. And uh, I understand not everybody can make it. We won't talk about you until you're out of the room. <laughs> um, but my point in this is this. It all boils down to one thing. Dechabun chad lechad Aikana diena achab tekun Love one another as I have loved you. Everything else is a game. And I say it clearly, if you can't do that, I love you, I bless you, and I expect you to step to the side so that we can create the world that is the world of God, not the world of judgment and hatred and criticism and fear. Because that's what we're here for. We're the ones we were waiting for. We're the seventh generation that the Lakota spoke of. It's right now. I just say blessings. Thank you for being open. If you don't understand anything I said, you're in a great place. Because <laughs> I wasn't talking to your head. I was talking to your heart. I just thank you for being open. Blessings. Okay.